Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Your Time to Shine, a radio show designed to help you explore your own divine gifts. Hello, welcome to the show. I'm so glad to have you here this evening. I hope this evening is finding you very well, and I am so ready for Friday, and I'm sure that you are too. (laughs) So, only one more day, and we are there. So, have you ever... Have you ever stopped to think about the people that come and go into your life? I know, you know, we, we think about this, um, or maybe we, maybe you don't, um, how people come into our lives and then they leave. Um, they can be here for a very short time or a very long time. In any case, people that come into our lives are here to either support us or teach us something that we are to know in this lifetime. So have you ever stopped to think about some of the people that have come into your life and then have just mysteriously disappeared? The friendships dissolve, the partnerships go away. Um, Have you ever stopped to think about what was that that they taught me? What was it that I was supposed to know about this situation? Um, or about this experience even. Sometimes it's all about experiences, right? So um, I've I've actually been doing a lot of reflecting on this um, here recently, you know, why some of the people in my life have come and gone. So for me, a big portion of it is because of the spiritual growth that I have taken over the last few years and open myself up to the possibility of the spirit, um, communicating with the other side. And as you do that, as you spiritually grow, um, sometimes there are those who don't come with you. They don't grow with you. They're not ready for that step. And so they will just leave our lives um, automatically. And as they do that though, You know, you have to stop and think, well, what was it that they taught me? They say that a person standing in front of you is a mirror of our own soul, right? So whatever they're doing, maybe that bothers you. It's like you have to look deep within you to say, what is it about them that's bothering the soul within me, right? Or it could be, what am I supposed to know about this situation that's going to help heal me or is going to help me grow in my life experience, my path, uh, my spirituality? All of these things come up. And so there have been a lot of situations here in the past few weeks that have been coming up, my relationships with people. And of course, um, right now we are in Libra season, right? Which is all about relationships. So for me, this has been a really huge thing. Um, Relationships have been like spotlighted, if you will. Good, bad, um, indifferent. And so... When you look at that, you have to stop and think, well, what is it that these people are bringing forth to me to teach me? You know, maybe it is, maybe it's about, um, uh, just left my mind. One moment here. (laughs) Um, You know, maybe you're supposed to know how to treat others or somebody might be treating you badly so that you can stop and say, okay, note to self, this is not how I want to be treated. So this is not how I'm going to be treating somebody else, right? Um, Looking at it from a standpoint of, you know, this person's having a really bad day and not taking that on for myself and saying, oh, that person's mad at me because that person's having a bad day. No, it's, you don't know what that person is going through, but that person is here to teach you 
to stop and recognize, wait a minute, I'm not taking the blame for all of this, right? Maybe they're here to teach you boundaries um, and self-perseverance, right? To not let people take advantage of you or whatever that looks like. So it's really interesting. I think if you were to stop and look back at all the relationships, some that you're still in, some that have left, um, and gone away. If you could stop and go, what was it that they taught me? I think that you would find there was a lot of things that that person taught you that sometimes we can only reflect upon in hindsight, right? They always say hindsight is the telling tale, right? Um, if only I had known this or only I had known that. Well, Maybe you weren't supposed to because maybe you were supposed to understand and go through that process, not only for yourself, but maybe so that you could teach somebody else something along the way that they needed to know. So take a look um, within the experiences of your life and the people that have come and gone and ask yourself, what is it? that they have taught me? What is it that I have learned that I have used and put to good use in a positive way? And I think that you'll find that there's a lot of things um, that people have taught us along the way. It's just a matter of sitting down and being in awareness of that and taking it all in. So, Take a little time and reflect on that and see if any inspiration comes to you, because who knows, maybe you're supposed to be teaching somebody else what you have just learned yourself. All right. Right now, we are going to go to the phone lines. Hope that little tidbit was helpful for you this evening. Uh, right now, we have Jay in Melbourne, Victoria. Australia. Good evening, Jay. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Hello. What can we help you with tonight? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I would like to know about my uh, spiritual insight. Uh, about Hello. your insight? Yeah, spiritual, in, into spiritual. I'm into spiritual, so I would like to know more on my spiritual insights because I've been uh, conducting few sessions and all that. So I just want to make sure that I'm uh, I'm guiding everyone in a proper manner or what is my gift to like, you know? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right, perfect. Yes. Um, Jay, hang on just a minute. I'm going to tune in to see... Um, what your guides have to say about this. So there's going to be just a little minute of silence as I tune in and then sure, I will be sure, right back sure, with sure. you. Okay. We'll okay. Yes. Yes. We'll do. Thank you. Okay. Jay. Um, one of the things that your guides were um, telling me is that you are such, you're such a bright light. Um, you, you are very, very intuitive. Um, you are able to bring guidance through um, to whoever it is that's standing in front of you. It could be a client. It could be a friend or a family member. Um, you have a little harder time translating some of the information that you get um, to help yourself, really. Um, so they're asking you to tune in to that a little bit more because a lot of times what you're speaking to, um, that you're bringing forth for you know clients and friends and everybody else is really there's pieces in there and pieces of information in there for you. Um, you are really spot on with the information and what you're bringing through um, to help people um, in their everyday lives, in their situations. Um, it's just, you have a, it's like this, this path that you're on, this course that you're on is, is perfect for you. And Thank you. people are very much, um, 
very much drawn to you and your energy. And that's why you keep getting, you know, these repeat customers, these these clients that keep coming back to you. It's that you, they are drawn in by this light, by this energy of you. And it's it's a beautiful, wonderful thing. Oh, thank you very much. I just uh, sometimes I have this doubt in me, uh, <laughs> the doubt yes. in me that uh, I'm actually uh, correctly uh, guiding them in the right path. I see, uh, sometimes I conduct uh, sessions via Zoom for them on healing, on guidance. So that is my passion. And uh, I would also like to help women empowerment for those single moms out there, help the orphanage. Oh. So that's my passion, and I just want to clearly make myself myself sure that I'm uh, really tuning into the right path, the right channel, the right vibration and energy. So, absolutely, so that's why I would like um, to your guidance. Yeah, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And this this whole part about um, women and helping women, um, there's there's definitely this strong passion. Um, it's like they're, what they're showing me is like this line um, that goes through your genetic, um, uh, that goes like through your genetic heredit, um, I can't say the word, um, down through your, your line, uh, your genetic line. Okay. Um, and it's been passed on by generation to generation, this really strong um passion to working with women um mm -hmm. not that you know working with men or with children you know you can't you, there's no reason why you can't do that but there's this really strong feeling and connection that you have in helping and empowering women um because you have found yourself in that in that same yeah. kind of situation right so yeah Yes. It's it's about teaching what you know and expressing what you have gone through in ways that they can yes. understand and understand it. Yes, exactly, exactly. And at the same time, I also wish women as a light worker for those in need as well. Uh, that's the reason why I'm just yes. doing this as much as I could to reach out people out there. And uh, I just hope that I will. I'll be able to connect the right people. Yeah. Well, you. just Thank know, you. yeah, just know that spirit is always connecting us to the right people, right? To the right okay. ones who okay. we can essentially speak their language, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. So that you have the right mm -hmm. words to speak to the person that's in front of you, for them to understand okay. you and for that for you, you know, for them to hear you as well. Um, so okay. just know that who because is being brought yeah, okay. go ahead. Because sometimes, uh, I just feel that some blockage, sometimes I just, uh, when I face challenges, uh, I just feel that kind of blockage in me that's preventing me to move further. So that worries me a lot. Um, so that's the reason why I booked this session to actually know the spiritual inside of myself, you know, to gain some, uh, guidance from yourself. Right. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. So this feeling of, of um, being blocked or, you know, not knowing um, is really it's it's really more of a step um, to show you okay. what it is that you're needing to unlock. Right. Um, to, okay. you know, what you are needing to unlock for yourself. Um, or for your okay. for your clients, for the people who are, um, you know, are in front of you, um, as okay. you face these blocks, um, they're actually oh. going to open for you. Okay. Um, okay. okay. So they they've been put in your in your path essentially um, okay. to look at and to observe, and then to kind of move through them because what what it's what they're showing me is that you're it's like you're collecting these um these pieces right and all okay. these pieces that you gather are basically helping you with with your um with your clientele right so okay. um you need to trust in what it is that you're getting um and okay. remember that 
even nothing is something. Okay. So okay. a lot okay. of times when we feel we're not, we're getting anything, you have to dig deeper and say, okay, what does nothingness mean to me? Well, nothingness mm -hmm. can be peace. It can be tranquility. It can be okay. ease of mind, right? So okay. it's about shifting your mindset on what those, what those blocks are that are coming up and shifting in them and saying, what are they trying to tell me and teach me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can actually call upon my spirit guides if uh, I have some doubts and uh, just felt a bit lost, you know? I can actually do that, correct? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You know, asking them to come okay. through to help you, um, to show you what is being, okay. what is being blocked, okay. right? Um, because they can show okay. you that. Um, okay. and, because I used to call upon when as the creator. Yes. And uh, uh, yeah, and it's great guides and you know, but recently yes. someone um, when I went for a went for a, a, a session as well. They said, don't call too many people. Just call upon creator will do. So don't call spirit guides and all this. So I'm considered still new in this spiritual path. And sometimes this confused me as well. Mm. <laughs> because if, every time we meet one person, one person says a uh, different. So that's why I think that uh, attending too much session is also not too good. Because the guiding is <laughs> totally different. Right. So, right. Uh, so yeah. what is happening so is that you're you're being opened up to a lot of different guides, right? What you can do exactly. is if you would like to speak yes. to someone other other than creator, which is not a bad thing, but you can ask for your yeah. for your highest um uh, your highest counsel, right? And ask one of them to step forward so that you can start understanding their energy as they come through and then just start working with that particular guide right and okay. understand understand so the, uh, call the higher higher level no? yes yeah. higher self. Mm -hmm. okay. it's a higher it's a okay. higher realm right so it's like um mm -hmm. It's like archangels. It's like up in that realm of archangels, maybe even a little bit higher. Yes, I, do, so, I do call upon the angels as well. Uh, yes. angels, archangels, like Michael, Metatron and all that. At the same time, yes. I used to also respect and call upon the ascended master. Right, exactly. Exactly. So they're all yeah. being brought yeah. to yeah. you yeah. so that I'm you can... too many people. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what You're you can do... Stop it. You're calling too many people. You just have to call one, you know, the creator. Stop calling spiritual guides and uh, ascended masters. So it's a little well, bit confusing. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I, I, I do see where she, where she was getting that information, right? Because if you're calling in too many people, um, it can get really overwhelming energetically. So what you can do is you can call yes. in one person. Right. Um, it's good to work yes. with all these different guides and angels because then you get you get different information. Right. Um, you get different yes. energies with them. And so working with all of the different realms of the angels, and the archangels is a really good thing um, to be able to do. Yes. OK, noted, noted. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, I really appreciate that very much. Yeah. yeah, so you I have too many, too many lessons also confuse you. <laughs> yes, yes. So you have a master guide that's trying to come through. So a master okay. guide is is one in our life that comes in yeah. when we incarnate and they walk the path with us through our entire lives. OK, so you have a master guide okay. who's coming in who's wanting to yes, yes, yes. Um, speak with you and get to know you a little bit better and for you to understand their energy so sit yes. with that and work with that energy for you know maybe a week two weeks and then um okay. yeah and then then you can you know talk to another archangel or something but but when you do that work with that entity that's you know that angel guide um for a couple of weeks to under maybe even a month right to understand their energy and that's the best way um 
to understand all the different realms. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. Perfect. Jay, is there anything else I can help you with this evening? Uh, that's, uh, that's about it. I just, um, you, you, you think there's any message for me from the spirit guides and anyone just before you go? They just want you to keep working with them, um, not to doubt yourself. When you go into doubt, just ask the question, is this message coming to me or is it coming from me? And if you feel it's coming to you, which I'm going to tell you probably 99.9% .9 of the time it's coming to you, that means they are providing you this information, okay? If you say it's come, if you get the feeling it's coming from you, then it's coming from from you, from your ego, that from that realm of all of that. But when it comes to you, it means you're in receiving mode. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your. Uh, you're so sorry. welcome. You're so welcome. Have a great night. Yes, thank you so much. So warm. Thank you. All right. Uh, who do we have on docket now? We have Christine in Queensland, Australia. Kristen, excuse me. Uh, Kirsten, excuse me. Kirsten, yes. how are you? <laughs> Hi, Julie. I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. What can I do for you this evening? Um, I'm basically um, just after a general reading. I'm in a bit of a stuck position where I've been doing a lot of inner healing work and trying to get rid of a lot of past pain and things like that. I've been lonely for a very long time now and I'm sort of looking for love but a little bit afraid to step out of that box to find it just because of the pain that I guess is still present. I'm just wondering maybe if there's any sort of guidance you'd be able to give or um, or spirit and um, if you perhaps even see love coming my way. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Um, let me tune in here for just a minute and see what your guides have to say. Um, there's going to be just a little bit of silence as I do that, and I'll be right back, okay? Perfect. Okay. All right, Kirsten. So what they're showing me is that they're they're wanting to well, they're wanting you to know that they're recognizing all of the inner work, all of the healing that you've been doing, um, because it's really catapulted your life, right? It's really pushed you into um, kind of a different realm, right? You're starting to feel a little bit better about your situation, about you know, about love and what, what they're showing me is that you now know what you are, are deserving of, right? Um, it's given you that kind of that choice, choice probably is not the right word, but it's showing you that you have the, the, the decision, the choice to be treated in a way um, that is good for you. Right. And so because of all this inner healing that you've been doing, you are recognizing that, no, I deserve this. I deserve the best. And this is what I am looking for in my next partner. And that's what you're going for. Right. Yes. There's still a little yes. bit of work to be done um, because you still do have a little bit of that. Um, that inner fear of stepping forward. But they said, you're so ready. You're like right on that edge, right on that verge of being able to take that big step and go, yep, I'm ready now. Um, yes, I do see someone yeah. coming into your life. Okay. Um, but you still need to do, you still need to do a little bit of healing um, 
to get through that threshold so that when you do, you can say, yes, I am ready. I am ready 100%. And I'm ready to take that step. Because when you hit that point, you're going to be able to look back on the past relationship and go, yep, I learned from that. I know what that feels like. That's not going to happen again, right? So mm -hmm. you're you're just like right on that brink of, of that. Kind of like being in the threshold of a door, right? That's kind of what they're showing yeah. me is that you're like right there. Not quite ready yet sort of thing. <laughs> Not quite ready, but very, very close. There is a core. That's okay. Yeah, there is a core component to um, to how you're feeling. And it has to, it, it like goes back into like your childhood. So, um, Hang on just a minute here. Somewhere, think about where you were at when you were about seven, eight years old, um, because there's something there that needs to come up and needs to be healed. Um, and what happens is in your relationships, it's actually there, there's a connection. It's, it's really interesting when you start healing and, and doing clearing, there's usually a root cause. And usually that mm -hmm. root cause happens in our childhood. So look yes. back it, to see what it was. So when you think about your age of seven and eight, what's the first thing that comes into your mind that makes you go, <gasps> Yo, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. Focus on that and try to heal that piece of it, okay? Because as you heal it's that piece funny of it. funny you should say that because the other night I got a quick glance of that hurt at the very time that it was happening and yeah. I, I kind of shunned from it because of the emotion yeah. it brought up. I'm like, all right, fine, I've got to come back to that because it yep. was a really strong kind of... I could just feel that that was something that I'm still practicing if you get what i mean like that yes. uh shield sort of yes exactly exactly Kristen, we are coming down to the last few seconds of our show but i encourage you to go back to that age going back to those pieces to clear those out and to heal those so that you can step through that threshold and move forward it sounds amazing just really quickly what do you see of him what does what do you get from him coming in um, I'm probably going to run out of time before I could explain anything to you. Um, he's going to change, he's going to change the way you view everything in life. 